A few hundred miles southeast of Moscow is a working-class city named Voronezh. Tsar Peter the Great built a dockyard there long before it became an industrial, cultural, scientific, and educational center. Three graduates of its conservatory, Valery Petrukhin, Vladimir Volokhin, and Sergei Telechov, formed the trio Voronezh in 1993 playing Russian folk songs on traditional instruments. They've added a wild variety of repertoire, from Bach, Vivaldi, and Shostakovich to outdoor piazzola tangos, American music, and, of course, traditional songs, all from memory. Wild is the operative word. Petrukin plays the double bass balalaika, an enormous instrument in the classical triangular shape. It still has only three strings, but it's big and there's this metal rod coming out of one corner to balance the instrument on the floor. Petrukhin has to simultaneously balance it and play it at amazing speed. It's physically demanding, but he makes it look like more fun than you should be able to have with only three strings. Teleshev plays the bayan, a Russian accordion with buttons on both sides, no keys. He changes registers with his chin. Well, his hands are busy. Teleshev is the one who announces what they're going to play, and after each piece says softly and politely, thank you very much. The third member of the trio is Vladimir Volokhin, who plays the domra, a three-stringed Russian lute. Think mandolin. The domra usually plays the melody, but you absolutely would not believe what Volokhin can ring out of those three strings. The way he hunches over his instrument makes absolutely no ergonomic sense at all, but his extraordinary virtuosity certainly does. They began with the classics, Vivaldi, Tchaikovsky, and then Shostakovich, the burlesque from the Second Violin Concerto. Very different harmonic language, thudding rhythms, and brilliant solo and ensemble work. The same composer's polka from the ballet Bolt was filled with humor. Twyla Tharp should take this group on. In a tango suite by the great Astor Piazzolla, the balalaika provided a walking bass while the bayan and the domra throbbed passionately. A whiz-bang arrangement of the Cacciaturian saber dance was at blinding speed with interesting bass lines. They returned in the second half wearing traditional Russian shirts in brightly colored satin playing another piazzolla tango than traditional Russian songs. The syncopation in Voronezh Cowboy felt like Prairie Home Companion. They've appeared on that show, too. During a piece in bluegrass style, written by a Russian jazz pianist, I kept thinking, I would love to see these dudes take the stage in Galax. Their encores were traditional Russian songs with a twist. They'd get the audience clapping in rhythm, and then speed way up, leaving the audience helpless with laughter and closing with, of all things, a Joplin rag. Thank you so much, said Teleshev. And folks in the audience were shouted, Spasiva, Shabasiva, which means thank you. From the other side of the footlights, I'm M.D. Ridge.